Good morning. This is Kara Coffee, the Ministry of Uncovered No More. I'm going to get better at this and somehow have a little piece of equipment where I can do, you know, YouTubes with, uh, with, with both hands because I'm a very active YouTuber as in, you know, I'll show you. I have blue paint on me because I'm painting my wall. And... I'm getting a schedule that people are working with actually and we also have some help here with dinner and stuff so and so it's really nice but I'm, I still miss parts of my family and you know I've been pulling weeds and stuff I picked my herbs and put them in vinegar water to rinse them I have taught juice for uh, beef beef broth today I have things to juice from the beautiful store and um, I'm trying to talk to the birds and so that they will stop fighting like people because everybody seems to fight and it's usually surrounding food and the little one the little birds do the fighting and then the the crows come in and they don't fight they just like push everybody out which is rather aggressive if I may say so myself I didn't have as many sunflowers pop up this year. So that miracle was last year and it was a very nice miracle. Now I have a bee coming around because I already have some basil leaves. Now if bee stays right there, then I'm okay. But if bee starts coming around my skin, we'll go in the house. Okay, this, this is my um, bag. I just finished, that's got my runes in it. I just finished my milk because I, I have to drink milk before coffee to coat my stomach my tummy and um, I'm going to read you a poem today I was just catching myself up about my uh, here our lovely mr. frost who is always always talking to us and telling us why aren't you listening to the birds a little more, executives? <laughs> I don't know what he says to me. I think he kind of keeps his distance because we girls, when we get older, and, you know, raise kids and all that, I think everybody's scared of us. <laughs> I don't like that. It's not nice, but it happens. Okay, so we're going to get up and walk into... Uh, dad's desk, my desk that dad gave me, and um, because I want the bee to have his little way here because my bees are coming back. Now, I haven't put my hummingbird thing up yet. I think I'm waiting. I don't think it's just quite time, but I do need, that's what I do appreciate the internet for, is looking up that kind of thing. Now, see this peppermint? I, I, I do believe that instead of um, grass, we're going to end up with a peppermint front yard because that's how peppermint rocks and rolls. I wanted you to see, <laughs> this is called the mother of many that my neighbor across the street gave me and it's just everywhere. And she warned me that it would do that. But this is, um, this is, uh, and I got flowers off my aloe which was a huge treat. I'd never had flowers from my aloe. Okay, so I'm doing a little, I was doing a little weeding today, but I just wanted to see that. And this is the, uh, last year I told y'all that this little uh, rose bush, I'm gonna have to trim the flowers here in a bit, that the rose bush basically told me, no, you're not gonna pull me up. I had to ask Rose to forgive me. This is my for my mother-in-law because she loves sage. See, it's starting. It blooms several times. Isn't it beautiful? It's coming into a big bush thing going on. Um, and I went ahead and started a bed here. I had to bring it there. I, my next door neighbor talked to me. Okay, I need to trim some. I have some sunflowers, but I'm going to need to put some more. Um, I gotta put some more black mulch here. Uh, I also need to get somebody to help me screw these in. I started with, I was gonna do a really big bed and I just don't have the stamina. So we're, I'm gonna let them mow that. 
I'll just do um, more earth boxes on that side if that's what I want. I was very pleased this year because this is so easy. I may have to replace these, but look, I got a little shock of flowers. See, that's my mama's punch bowl, but I found it at <laughs> Goodwill. She had one, but I don't know where it was after the move. Here's Sage saying hello to you. Uh, Sage is flowering. Isn't that nice? And um, so I got some sage for my beef broth and I got oregano now. You know, uh, it's uh, uh, Simon and Garfunkel. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Here's thyme, but I told thyme because I had to weed it. it needs, uh, thyme needs to get bigger. Look, basil is coming back. We had something eating on it, which makes me angry, but it's still flowering. Parsley, um, I have some in the vinegar water, not for me and my broth, because I can juice this too, but not today. Um, I got that for bun, my bun, the my daughter's bunny. Oh, look now, look at the dew. I'm gonna have to get a, I'm gonna have to get, and then there's rosemary. Parsley, sage, parsley. Sage is over there. Rosemary and thyme. <laughs> so I did it. Now see, there's this big old, what is this? That is not rosemary. <laughs> I can't put that in the soup. I just got a piece of rosemary to go in the soup, yes, but also to, to smell at my dad's desk because it just is a healing thing. And that's the last thing I wanna share before I read Mending Wall by Robert Frost. Because let me tell you something. Let me just tell you something right now. There's lots of us that feel like this country's going to pot, man. But it ain't the right kind. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be the poets bring us back. And the philosophers. And we're going to do this democracy. But I just don't know how long it's going to take. So... I'm trying to stay positive. So I've decided that today is a slow enough day that I had better do my um, cappuccino too that my friend at my coffee shop taught me about. And it just took me a little $10 investment and I got myself my own coffee maker. As in cappuccino, you know, you, you pump the milk and it makes the foam and oh, it's just so good, y'all. Okay, well, I've got a lot going. Say good morning to Dadashi. She was just waiting for me, because that's my Tadash. Okay, here's my, um, this, this book. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this book has seen <laughs> many changes. I tried my hardest to go back to Lady Bird Johnson's the White House Diary, and I couldn't do it, but I was going to put quotes in this book. And then I went to Moonstones, and I have a sad testimony that I'm not going to talk too much about because I'm still broken about it, but I lost my, um, a, an oracle bag, so to speak, that I can't get back. But you know how the testimony is, um, out of some brokenness comes beauty, you know, ashes to ashes. I bought for a little over $10 at Pe Austin Pets, the Pets Alive shop. <laughs> Tadashi likes the Austin Pets Alive shop. Oh, uh, she's checking out my milk cup. Um, and I went to the Renaissance Fair. It was so much fun the day before my birthday. I went to the Renaissance Fair and got um, stones. And then I probably am gonna have to fess up to Mary Han, my daughter because I actually stole one of the stones that she got in this beautiful little thing. I think she must pay attention to stones and I'm gonna start paying attention to stones. But um, she had a quartz. So uh, she, a bunch of quartz in this, in this beautiful gift. And uh, so I went ahead and got one of the quartz. So I have that now to add to my little book. And then I have some stones in here. Tiger eye is one of them. But all the stones, if you read around on like wicca.com and some other lovely sites that sell things too, so go check 
out the magic sites. Um, they, they will tell you which energies um, are, are being helped or driving away darkness from our mind, our mental aspect, that kind of thing. Okay, Tadashi, you're kind of going overboard and you're gonna start, um, she's gonna start knocking over cups and stuff. Um, and I started a little book in that little purse uh, with how I'm going to intentionally use uh, energized stones. And I'm thankful that Tiger has one of them because I have Tiger Joy by Stephen Vincent Benet, along with Western Star by Stephen Vincent Benet. And that is one bag, is these, this gentleman's poetry is so riveting. He's like T.S. Eliot. I put T.S. Eliot with a certain Mandela color in the book because intense dudes are good things in America. I said not, you know, they're not things, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, real leadership that knows actually what democracy is and isn't is good to have in America. Yes. And um, it's just good to have them in America. So uh, T.S. Eliot is a pillar of the temple for me, as is Rudolf Steiner, who's right here. <laughs> um, so I'm on the desk right here <clears throat> with uh, uh, Mr. Robert Frost about mending wall, because we're going to mend the wall. We're going to mend the wall. But our wall is going to be balanced. Democracy's wall is going to be balanced. Every nation needs to have its sovereignty. I'm pretty sure most people would agree with that. Every state needs to have its sovereignty. But there needs to be no control of the autonomy of we the people. And so Roe versus Wade needs to be brought back. Just because I didn't access abortion doesn't mean I don't think women should have their own choice. I've heard all the horror stories. I believe that victims, <coughs> excuse me, who can grow children in our wombs should never be backed into a corner and forced in any way. I also believe that there is way too much drama in this society. It goes both ways. I don't wanna see balance. That's all I'm going to say about it anymore. Um, <clears throat> Mending Wall by Robert Frost. Here, let's hear his poem because it's also gonna go with a piece of Bible. <laughs> and there was a time in the history of the Jewish people I believe there was civil war going on. I will stop and read the read it again. I've scanned read it or, earlier this year. You know where the men had to wear their swords while they rebuilt the wall because they were still being attacked and they needed to fortify their city, and that is an equally balancing force. Those of us that are the peacekeepers that come through, we we back we are killed. A lot of times. We're killed. That's all throughout history. Raising towns to produce fear, to control control um, governments is a generational curse that men and women put forth and accomplish. And so, uh, yeah, that, that's the truth. So let's listen to Robert Frost because you can kind of tell the push and shove of property ownership in this poem. And just so you can see, I spent um, started spending time with this February 23rd of 2024. And 
did some art. It's not a long poem, but here we go. This is going to be a building of something on wearegorgeousone.wordpress.com. That's where I put Maya Angelou, and I used to put Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, but he and Robert, um, no, Ralph Waldo Emerson are going into that particular zone of certain books that the Library of, it's either Library of America, Library of Congress, someone, Library of America, I think, made these books of the documents that are seriously our necessity of democracy. And now we have, are dealing with people book burning and, you know, uh, book banning and burning and making, which, you know, I've burned some things as a source. This at Whole Foods. This cone incense is beautiful, sandalwood. And there it is. So let's open the lid. Do I have any seed? And so eventually I will spread under my oak. Okay. I will spread my ashes and you get to be a part of that if you'll listen to the poem with me. And that's how I'm doing this. I want you to see I'm going back to being a student, a full time student of the Lane Patron. But this is my first book, and there it is. So, you know, I can do it downstairs and keep learning. But my actual journaling with with Elaine Patron's work is a brand new book she wrote. Uh, but she put elements to the smaller book. But the other thing about it is, I'll go ahead and announce this. Uh, I'm going to put the Kabbalah with that notebook for self-care. I've learned enough about the Kabbalah. I, I get on the internet with it, and man, people are fighting about it. And they, they do give each other information, but y'all, everybody is needing to be, um, to feel smart about ourselves, I guess. Everybody is getting very competitive with magic, and I just can't. It's I mean, I know it's been there, but I've managed to stay out of it. Uh, for the most part, because Christians just think we're all demonic. <laughs> That's a compliment. They don't like it that, that we consider that a compliment, but it really is. It's like, oh, good, you consider me demonic? Good, 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 because you need to go fuck yourself. Um, <laughs> I'm talking about the Protestants. 
I don't talk much about the Catholics. Kick their ass and just leave them in the corner. Mess. There's a big old mess. But honestly, some of us, our mystic side came through the American Indians and the Catholics. Now there's a quandary. We are we, okay? Um, so let's take a look here. Here it goes. It takes it a minute, and sometimes, ah, oh, there we are. Sometimes this one um, will go out. It's a little harder to line. <laughs> it's not like the little fire thing I have out back where I'm out start a fire today. And, you know, you just pour more <laughs> the of the um, the gat the the little lighting fluid on it and. Yeah, and it keeps going and it gets started, you know. You can do that in a campfire too safely, but you can't do that with incense. <laughs> Those schemes are not beautiful. <laughs> okay. So I get to date this today as well. Are you ready? Let's have some reverence, shall we? And um I'll show you. Oh, because, yeah, I'm helping us with legacy. I just started that for my paganism work by Justin River Higginbotham. I'm a little lost with this notebook. Paganism is going here, but the thing that happened that is sad to me, um, I lost some things. And forever. And um, it's good for me, but... And it's good for me. That's all I can say about it. It's just, you know, you you lose pieces of your heart, don't you? And it is good, but it's not. Mending Wall by Robert Frost. Something there is that doesn't love a wall that sends the frozen groundswell under it and spills the upper boulders in the sun and makes gaps even two can pass abreast. The work of hunters is another thing. I have come after them and made repair where they have left not, the, not one stone on a stone. Now, my loves, it is an entire beautiful poem to sit and stare at a rock wall that has been lovingly built. Uh, there's no words there, but there is poetry. So this is, this is the world we have as well, where democracy is already the dwelling place. I have come after them and made repair where they have left not one stone on a stone, but they would have the rabbit out of hiding to please the yelping dogs. The gaps, I mean, no one has seen them made or heard them made, but at spring mending time, we find them there. I let my neighbor know beyond the hill, and on a day we meet to walk the line and set the wall between us once again. We keep the wall between us as we go to each the boulders that have fallen to each. And some are loaves, and some so nearly balls, we have to use a spell to make them balance. Stay where you are until our backs are turned. We wear our fingers rough with handling them. Oh, just another kind of outdoor game. One on a side. It comes to little more. There where it is, we do not need the wall. He is all pine, and I am apple orchard. My apple trees will never get across. 
and eat the cones under his pines, I tell him. He only says, good fences make good neighbors. Spring is the mischief in me, and I wonder if I could put a notion in his head. Why do they make good neighbors? Isn't it where there are cows? But here there are no cows. Before I built a wall, I'd ask to know what I was walling in or walling out, and to whom I was like to give offense. Something there is that doesn't love a wall, that wants it down. I could say elves to him, but it's not elves Exactly. And I'd rather he said it for himself. I see him there, bringing a stone grasped firmly by the top in each hand, like an old stone savage armed. He moves in darkness, as it seems to me, not of woods only in the shade of trees, he will not go behind his father's saying, and he likes having thought of it so well. He says again, good fences make good neighbors. Let's close. Not with the interpretation, for there is much, much relevance in this poem, very much relevance. I think I've already read it once. That's okay. Today I have more time. Let's get our runes and let's drop them directly on the blanket that covered my father's aging body as he was dying. Let's handle the rings. I'm hearing let's keep the message simple. Ah. Uh, yes. This is a very important rune. It is the warrior. And now I know which music needs to go with this. It is Fawn's music. One of the songs is, you're fighting yourself. You're fighting yourself is the words. So I will put it. There is something to, he will not go behind his father's saying, because I am not seeing men simply listening to their fathers. I am seeing men only listening to misogyny. which demoralizes women. So don't get it twisted, my brothers. I build the wall to keep your misogyny out, not your spiritual life. And this is terror. In my seventh line, I have defended children. I have channeled your wickedness, screaming at me. Yes, you like power. Now I'm at home. And I will go out. 
because lest you forget one of my new blogs, I am Madame Guyon as well. And until I get through that autobiography, watch your step around me publicly and privately, please. Because it's not me that I'm telling you to be more respectful of. And you know that about Kara Coffey and the Ministry of Uncovered No More. You know that. I love you. He's not nearly as uh, well, I called it misplaced compassion when I wrote Uncovered No More, Volume 3. And one, a white stove. Which is interesting in my story. I'll close with this. One of the things lost to me forever was a polished, is a polished moonstone. My whole life dictated to me to turn into the sun and become more eclectic, pagan, though solitary still. And yes, it does affect how I interpret. <clears throat> None of my stones purchased at the Renaissance Fair and the one from my daughter because she gifted someone here the set. We'll get it out again. None of the stones are polished. See, that's the thing about the name Terra. It means star. Now you will learn your lesson, America. Whether or not a woman births her children, whether or not a woman allows you into her life at all, is none of your business until she gives you permission to be there. And then you are going to blaspheme great spirit if you mistreat her. And she, to a lesser degree, because men are so arrogant, will have some things to face, too. <clears throat> some because of her own behaviors, and some because of yours. And that gets complicated. And that's where she leads. And you must follow or you are in deep shit on the other side. And if you, as a penis, don't understand that you need that regulating force of the sword coming out of the king's mouth in the first few chapters of the book of Revelation, you're lost to goodness entirely. This is Kara Coffey of the Ministry of Uncovered No